everybody, welcome to Donna's Kitchen. Today we are making lasagna. First I want to say Happy Easter. It's uh, Sunday, April 12th, 2020. In, I'm not sure what day, 25, 28 or so of the quarantine for us. Um, hope you all get to enjoy with your family as best you can, whether it's on video or on the phone. Um, but today we're going to be making, I'll call it my famous lasagna, um, or I could call it Uncle Jack's lasagna. He loves this lasagna. I made this for him, I, I bet, 10 years ago, and he cannot stop talking about it. He lives in a different state, so I don't get to see him very often, um, but every single time I talk to him, he says, can you make your lasagna? He prefers the veggie lasagna. We are adding meat to this one, but all the veggies that are going in this, um, you can just omit the meat if you'd like, okay? So what we, I've started, I've already cut up some carrots, onions, and bell pepper using my Vidalia Chop Wizard. I've said this before in a previous video, this is the greatest thing ever for chopping vegetables. Um, it has a couple different sizes. These are nice even squares. Um, and then this is a smaller dice. I use this on the carrots. The carrots are a little thicker and heartier, so I wanted them a little smaller so we can cook them up evenly. We're going to continue. Um, I think I have enough carrots, but just wanted to let you know, I do not peel my carrots. They have all the nutrients in the peel, so just give them a good wash and use the peel, okay? Um, but now we're going to cut up some zucchini. So first thing we'll do is cut off the ends. Cut it in half and throw our, okay? And then when you're using this chopper, you need to have it manageable, manageable chunks so that it fits in here. So we're just gonna give it a whack. Okay. You can also use the finer chop on this if you'd like, but zucchini cooks fairly quickly and we don't want it to get mushy, so I've used uh, bigger chunks. Okay, so that's one zucchini. You can see those are pretty good sized chunks. Okay, and then we're also going to be adding some spinach to this, but we'll do that uh, towards the end. We can add it in the sauce or layer it into the um, lasagna itself. Okay, almost done here. This is why I pre-cut the rest of this so you wouldn't sit here all day and watch me get some frustration out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's all our vegetables for now. Okay, and then over here I have some meat going. I'm using um, ground beef and mild Italian sausage. You can use whatever meat you like or omit the meat if you prefer a vegetarian. But I've got that going here. I'm going to add a little seasoning. This is Italian seasoning that I got from Sam's Club. So we'll just get a little bit going. There's lots of seasoning in the sauce we'll use. But I'm kind of an ad liver, so I want to add in lots of my own touch. Okay? So we'll get that going. I want to go ahead and I'm going to add in the carrots to get those sauteing. So let's get those in here. Remove this zucchini. Okay, we'll let this cook down for a few minutes and then we'll start adding in our other vegetables. And once everything is browned through, then we'll go ahead and put in our sauces. Let me tell you about what my favorite sauce is for the lasagna. I personally use Classico. This particular one is spicy tomato basil. Most of the time I use traditional sweet basil and choose a spicy sausage. So again, it's to your liking. You can make your own sauce if you'd like, but Classico works hard at perfecting their sauce and it's delicious. So 
I stick with that. You'll find if you start watching my videos, all of my recipes are very simple. I use simple ingredients, most things that most people have in their cabinets. If I can't pronounce it or spell it, I'm probably not going to cook with it. So we stick with the basics here. So classico sauce, whatever flavor you like. And then I'll be adding in a can of fire roasted tomatoes. If you buy canned tomatoes, fire roasted is the only way to go. It's got lots of seasoning and that, that smoky roasted flavor is delicious. Then we'll just add a can of tomato sauce. And I'm using two jars of the classico. I am going to go ahead and squeeze in a little garlic. If you have fresh garlic, that's always better. But this is good in emergencies and when you can't get fresh produce. So I'm just giving a couple little squeezes in there. That's probably equal to two or three cloves, so that'll be plenty. All right, so we will add some more vegetables and let this brown up, and then uh, we'll add the sauce and, and go ahead and put it together. Okay, we are ready to add our zucchini in. I have added the onions and bell peppers, and they've been cooking for a few minutes, so you can see those getting translucent, translucent and soft. So we've added in our zucchini. Let's give that a little stir. And then we're going to add a little bit more spices. It's just more of the same, more Italian seasoning. A little fresh ground pepper. And a little salt. Okay, so let's get that going. We want to let this cook just a couple minutes and then we'll be adding in our sauce. Today, I hope you all are enjoying the Colorado snow. Yesterday we enjoyed 70 degrees, I got a sunburn, and here we are shoveling our driveway today. Nothing like Colorado, we love it here. Okay, let's go ahead and add in our sauce. I'm just using two jars, they're 24 ounces, so this is a pretty hearty lasagna. Okay. Our fire roasted tomatoes, you can see the roast of the skin on there, it's super yummy. And our tomato sauce. Ooh, I filled that to the brim. <laughs> now, as we mix this up, seriously, this is a little too full. Um, as we mix this up, I'll tell you a little secret about my lasagna. Ooh, I've already spilt over. Um, the secret to a good lasagna, in my opinion, is no ricotta cheese, people. Ooh, no ricotta. Now, if you'd like ricotta, you're welcome to add it, but this is what I've had multiple people tell me they love my lasagna, especially because it doesn't have ricotta. The other secret is, which you'll see when we go to put this lasagna together, is I don't cook my noodles. I use raw, regular noodles. You don't buy the no-boil noodles or anything, nothing special. So we're going to use regular noodles. And now we're going to set, let this simmer on the stove here, probably for about 20 minutes or so. We want those vegetables to cook through. And then once all that's done, we'll be adding our spinach in and putting the lasagna together. Okay, this sauce has been simmering for probably about 20 minutes on a medium heat. I just added in some fresh spinach leaves. Again, you can make this your own. Put in your favorite vegetables. You just want to put in your heartier vegetables first and let them um, brown a little bit with the meat before you put in the ones that don't take as long. So we've added the spinach. So we're going to start assembling the lasagna very carefully. Bring this over to our assemble station. Okay, I have a 9 by 13 pan here. This is a Pampered Chef baking stone. This one is fairly new. Usually they're not this pretty once you use them, but they work fantastic. So I have sprayed this one with a little bit of um, cooking spray. And the first thing we want to do is spoon some sauce on the bottom. Just enough to kind of cover it. 
This also helps the noodles not stick. Okay, so just spread that around a little. And then we'll start out with the noodles. Again, I just use, these are just American Beauty, but you can use whatever brand you like. So we'll take some raw noodles. These are regular noodles. Do not buy the um, no boil ones. Okay, so we're going to layer this down on the bottom. I'm not sure. Sometimes you, it's a puzzle piece here. Depending on your pan size, you may have to break the noodles. I'm going to put one across that side. Okay, more sauce. You can see how meaty and nice and thick hearty this is. This would be great over spaghetti too. So I'm just putting, I have a ton of sauce here, so we may end up with extra. It's okay to be generous. Nothing like a good hearty lasagna. Okay. Then we start adding in mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. Obviously, mozzarella is the most traditional for lasagna. But you could add in, um, we're going to add some Parmesan on the top. But you could do uh, any soft cheese is fine. Even Monterey Jack, Colby. Okay. So that's layer one. Then we're just going to keep going with our noodles. Stagger it a little bit. Might be a little tight, but that's okay. Oh, we can use this broken piece, another piece. Okay, here we go, next layer. Now, just a reminder of the veggies that we put in here. We have carrots, not peeled. I don't use baby carrots, um, but you could, whatever you have on hand. Um, so we have carrots, onions, green bell pepper, zucchini, and spinach. Did I get them all? I think so. <laughs> um, and then we added two jars of, of spaghetti sauce, your favorite uh, choice, whatever you like, and a can of tomato sauce and a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Now don't be shy with this cheese. I thought I have two bags here. Come on out. Here we go. Okay. Pumped it there. All right. Next layer. And this is probably going to be the last layer. We've got a nice deep pan here. Oh, let's use this one on this end. I'm going to break that a little bit. Okay, I think we're ready for the last layer. And sometimes I do, um, you could add spices at this point as well, you know, just for a little extra, an extra layer of flavoring. But that depends on, you know, how much you put in the sauce. I did quite a bit, and this sauce is pretty well seasoned. So, okay. That's about it. Maybe one more spoonful. Super simple recipe. And remember, my secret is uh, raw noodles and no ricotta. Okay. Last layer. I'm going to put tons of cheese. And I'm also going to add some um, fresh Parmesan as well. Okay. Make sure you get all those nooks and crannies. We want that cheese to just ooze down everywhere in this lasagna. Okay. So that's our mozzarella. I've got a little shredded parm. This Parmesan has a nice nutty flavor. Really adds a lot of good flavor to any Italian cooking. Okay, lastly, I'm just gonna sprinkle on some more Italian seasoning and it's mostly just for color on top. If you had a fresh herb, some fresh basil, I would do that in the summertime. 
I do grow uh, basil and oregano. So any of those fresh herbs would be great at this point. Okay, next thing we do, what I usually do is let this sit on the counter for an hour or two. It's not necessary, but it's too hot to put in the fridge and I'm not ready to bake it yet. So having it sit for an hour or so will help those noodles absorb some of that sauce. And uh, the reason I don't boil my noodles is because it helps the lasagna stand up a lot better. So when you slice it, we're actually gonna have a slice that holds together and not slide apart. If you boil the noodles, you will get that. So what I'm gonna do is just cover it with foil. Oh, and I forgot to, I want to, uh, I want to cover, um, I spray a little, uh, cooking spray on the foil so that the cheese won't stick to it. So let me go ahead and get that. Sorry, sidebar. <laughs> okay. So just spray a little bit on the top of your foil. And then we're just gonna cover it up and let this sit a little bit and put it in the oven. It will bake at 350 for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, depending on your oven and towards the end maybe last 15 minutes you'll take the foil off and let that cheese brown up and get all bubbly so we'll see you in a bit okay we got the lasagna out of the oven and I've cut it up here and we're gonna put it on the plate let me get that cut there I had some sauce and you can see all the veggies looks wonderful and we made some bread earlier that we'll put on here with some balsamic vinaigrette and olive oil for dipping. So this is Uncle Jack's lasagna plus the meat. Enjoy.